Hi, my name is Mike and I do the Tractor Mike YouTube channel. Nothing is more frustrating than getting a calm day and getting out to spray weeds and your sprayer won't work because it's clogged up. Today I'm going to give you seven tips to keep a sprayer clean and from clogging. Certain chemicals don't mix together. So if you've been spraying and you've got just a little bit of that old chemical in the bottom of the tank and you fill it up with a different chemical, sometimes those chemicals will attach to each other and clog up your tank. And it can take a long time to clean the sprayer tank out. Always clean your sprayer after every use. Get a hose, rinse out the inside of it, and get all of that spray out of there. It's really important. That's the number one thing really you can do to keep your sprayer from clogging. Let's say you've sprayed half a day and a rain comes in and you had to stop and you had to leave a little chemical in the tank. When you go back to that tank to get that chemical out, make sure it gets agitated good before you spray it. Don't just start the tractor or the utility vehicle up and spray immediately. Make sure that material is mixed up before you go forward. you got to clean those nozzles. You have little bitty orifices there that can clog up, and that's, that's where you're generally going to get a clog on your sprayer. So often as you can, take those nozzles apart and clean them good and put them back together, because that's usually where you're going to get the clog. These tips are brought to you by the folks at Enduraplast that make the Field Boss line of UTV sprayers. Check them out. Use clean water when you're filling your sprayer tank. If you get bugs in the water, if you get weed seeds in the water, just a little bit of dirt, it can really wreak havoc with a sprayer. And it's really bad if you have hard well water, it can mix poorly with chemicals like Roundup, and that can clog up your sprayer. Clean your filters on a regular basis. Filters are on a sprayer to keep the big chunks from coming through that normally clog up a sprayer. And every sprayer will have at least one filter and maybe multiple filters. It's important on a regular basis to take those filters out, flush them with some good clean water, and put them back together. That will eliminate a lot of your sprayer clogging problems. The last thing you can do to prevent clogs is be real careful about where you park your sprayer, especially over the winter. If you're storing a sprayer for extended periods of time in an area where insects can be a problem or rodents can be a problem or any kind of foreign material can get into that tank, it's going to create a problem with clogging on down the road. So store your sprayer in the cleanest, driest place you can. A lot of us are in windy conditions and we only get a few days that are just perfect for spraying. And so when we hit the field, we want that sprayer to function. And if you'll follow these seven tips, keep your filters clean, keep your sprayer clean, keep clean water in it, and service the nozzles, things like this, you'll have a positive experience when you get ready to spray and you can get to the field and get your work done. 